Okay, this is the unboxing of the Micro Air Easy Touch. Um, I have not opened this before. We have. Don't open your thermostat cover until there's no need. Um, just a piece of paper there. Got some screws. Just box away. And. It's a lot smaller than I thought. I thought it was a lot from the picture. I thought it was bigger than that. But um, I got some screws here. And I also got the back plate. Uh, it's a good thing that they're right top on this thing. Trim plate. Okay. Uh, these things only come in black, according to Micro Air. So. There it is, there's some screws, and that's it. All right, so my next video will be installing this thing. Oh, and let's see what the back looks like. Uh, don't open this thermostat uh, to your warranty. Okay, it looks relatively simple enough. It looks like it just goes like so. I'll do that later, but okay. And that's it. Okay, so this is me attempting to replace the existing AC with the new Micro Air. Okay, take this off. Okay, there's a little phone cord. And that just comes right off. Sounds like a lot of uh, slack just kind of came through here. All right. So take a plate. And that. All right. And then this that comes right off. Okay, nice little hole. So I'm just taking this off. <clears throat> and then apparently I gotta put this hole so it covers it. But now I gotta run a level here so that I guess I could uh, you know. okay. All right, let's see if I can uh, pre-drill the holes. Um, I got some of this tape here. I'm gonna read what it says. It says six screws, place the mounting screw template against the wall where you will be installing the easy touch control. Wall anchors are optional, may not be needed. Remove the template from the wall, okay? So, I guess that's the template, but I don't need it because I have the wall plate. So now, I have the screws for the uh, new bracket uh, here. So let's see if I can uh, get this to go through without messing this up so I'm gonna do one there okay then I'm using this guide here as my level so I'm making sure I'm parallel to it which I am and then I'm going to grab the other screw here. Okay, that looks good enough. 
Alexa, turn on riser shore power. I'm gonna plug that in. Oh, came right on. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck in the rest of the uh, the wire here, like so, and then. This just clips Okay, I gotta find the angle here. Does it go like that? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna break the clips. It says I should just go right in and I'm trying to do it, but I'm feeling resistance. Um, okay, oh, there we go. All right, so black on black. Take this off. Outside 67. Let's see if I can do some setup here. Oh, very nice. Uh, touch screen. Ooh, Wi-Fi info. I'll do that. Set Wi-Fi name. Can I just do this? Okay. Apparently. It's not doing anything. So I went to the app store and typed in micro um, air and this easy RV, uh, easy touch RV came up. I went to open it. Then I went to the sprocket icon. Uh, if I can get to it here, hang on a second. I went to the sprocket icon. Then I went to add device. And when I went to add device, it it found the um, the MAC address right away and named it and that was it and then the, the name shows up right here just like this so now when I click on it it will automatically connect and it matched it then I went to the gear sprocket again I went to Wi-Fi settings and then I entered my Wi-Fi information here and that was it it reset itself for a little bit, then came back on. So I'm gonna check for check for updates. There's a new version. Okay, I'm gonna click update now. Uh, my AC just turned off. And um, on the screen unit, it says downloading, and now it says restarting. I'm gonna go ahead and click back over here. And okay, it's back up again. So now I should be able to click back on riser. And there it is. So if I set this to 73, how, how fast does it go? 73, so there's about a two, three second delay. So if I hit this one, two, okay, so two second delay. Um, It'll turn on and that's it so let's see what scheduling does so if I come over here scheduling active or oh, edit schedule so if I do disable so let's see I'm gonna hour I'm gonna turn this on let's say at 10 a.m. to just 80 click save but it doesn't tell me Monday or what day of the week. It just says um, the hours. Okay. Then I'm gonna turn this off at uh, oh disabled hour. Um, 
I don't know how to disable it. So let's say at 5 p.m. I want it to be disabled. How do I do that? Um, it doesn't give me an option to disable it. Ooh, that's interesting. So that's not good. So how do I... Um, How do I disable it? Hour. Okay, so this doesn't, so that's kind of a problem. How do I disable this thing? How to turn, how do I schedule it to turn off? Huh. I'll have to read a manual about it. Maybe they have one here. Uh, and PM. Okay. So that's something I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to schedule that. Um, but otherwise, that's it. Everything is up and running. It's relatively easy, like everyone said. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a good day. So as everyone said, it's relatively easy. Uh, you saw the app. Um, there's a two-second delay between whatever I do in the app and this guy here. But uh, this black... the plate only comes in black so black on black looks pretty good um, and the fact that I can control it from my phone is, is, is the biggest thing so then I can change the Wi-Fi to Starlink if I'm out somewhere and have this connect okay hopefully you enjoy this video um, click like subscribe have a good day